So let's start. So guys, um, I will take maximum 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, so give me 20 minutes to wrap up the entire thing. Um, in the sense, what we are going to discuss is certain tips for the exam, uh, certain do's and certain don't do's. Okay. And in the end, if you have any questions or any doubt with respect to exams or auditing, I'll be happy to address it. So can we start? Okay. See, um, as far as exams are concerned, let me say five things, which is general, not only related to auditing, it is very, very, very general. The first main tip is uh, time management. Whether you take accounts paper, whether you take auditing paper, whether you take FM paper, any paper, what I feel most important thing is time management. And of which one is better? Writing for 100 marks, Arno, or writing for 80 marks? Well, Arno, which is better? Option 100 marks or option 2, 80 marks? Which is better in your judgment? Yeah, it is always better to write for 100 marks because we may think 80 marks we have written very well, but we can't ever judge whether our presentation is equal to ICI's. So always, always try to write for 100 marks. Now, what is the issue which you face for writing 100 marks? Para, what is the issue which you face? Oh, yo, ma'am, we, we couldn't write for 100 marks. What is the issue? Okay, the main foremost issue, as you are saying, is time management. Para, for the auditing paper, uh, I will say the time management. Wait, MCQ, 30 marks. Give 30 minutes for MCQ. Da, 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 da. For MCQ, how many minutes? We said we will allot for the MCQ part. We will allot 25 to maximum. Maximum, you can allot 30 minutes. And a remaining, how much time is there? Three hours exam, 30 minutes MCQ. Balance, you have two and a half hours. Two and a half hours means 150 minutes. 150 minutes. In that, how many questions you have to attend? Especially, I'm talking about auditing exam. descriptive. How many descriptive questions you have to attend? Compulsory question plus remaining four. So, totally you have, in the descriptive part, you have five questions. So, 150 minutes, five questions. Meaning, you can allot. Etra, how much? 30 minutes for each descriptive question. Are you understanding what I'm saying? MCQ allot 30 minutes. Balance in descriptive, you have to attend uh, one correct and correct. Full question compulsory and balance four. But if you do like this, 30 minutes for MCQ and in the descriptive, five questions. For each question, um, you allot 30 minutes. If you don't finish in 30 minutes, leave space. Don't continue with that question. Go to the next one. But if you do like this for any paper, be it auditing, FM, accounts, whatever paper, you can appeal for 100 marks. And are we clear with the first point on time management? First one? Okay. Now, the second question is, when you will attend the MCQ? EPUM, when you will attend the MCQ? Is it in the beginning of the exam, 2 to 2.30? Or in the middle? like somewhere 3 to 3.30 or towards the end. Come on, tell your vision. What is your view? Middle, first, middle, first, middle and first. Okay. See, you can attend in the beginning, 2 to 2.30 or you can attend, as some of you are saying, in between 3 to 3.30 or 3.30 to 4. That's your wish, your comfortable zone. But... Just an advice. It's only an advice. Don't attend MCQ in the end. My client means uh, towards 4.30 to 5. You know why? 4.30 to 5 is like a uh, time when examiners are coming to take the paper. Others are giving. You know, we tend to be more uh, tensed. So if you attend MCQ towards the end, 4.30 to 5, 
there are every chances that you may may misread the question because we are tensed so either you attend as you guys said in the beginning or you can attend in the middle but half an hour and are we clear with the second one first we said time management second one regarding the mcq when to attend either in the beginning or in the middle preferably not towards the end okay ano if okay can we proceed okay and you have a very 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 crucial time of 15 minutes in the 15 minutes reading time what will you do i think most of you know that in the 15 minutes reading time in the jay what you will do in my opinion mcq booklet i don't think you will get a um, compulsory question anyway you have to attend better if you can read the other question and decide the optional question and a one question you can leave it in options all right i hope you guys know paper pattern so out of the full paper one full question you can leave in the option so you decide which question you are going to leave in the option then you decide on the order okay question number 2 i know very well question 3 ah so you will start writing your descriptive with question number 2 so in the 15 minutes reading time two things you have to do one decide which question you are going to leave in the option one and second decide on the order and are we clear with the third point uh, what you will read in the i mean what you will do in the reading time okay okay now fourth one is as i have just said you will start your paper i mean descriptive paper with the question which you know first i mean most uh, first impression is best impression all right so start your descriptive with the most confident question you have uh, it may be correct incorrect it may be other question anything is fine but as far as exam is concerned i've seen students who have did a um, little mistake what they have did was they attended question number 5 first a b then they went to question number 4 a b then they came back to question number 5 don't do you can start with any descriptive question maybe question number 1 2 3 but once you start with question number 3 first in that there will be sub part alle like a b c d you attend all the sub part then only go to next question and did you understand what i meant you can start with any descriptive question which you feel more confident or most confident but once you choose that descriptive question ensure that you have completed uh, all the sub parts but guys assume question number 3 you started a you know b you know c you know d part you don't know now don't worry don't become desperate that question is just for 3 marks leave half page or one page for the d option which you don't know just leave some space and move on generally students will be like oh you we don't know the d part what to do but for three marks if you are worried and losing the time next to full question for 14 marks you won't get the time so at any point of time in any question if you don't know any sub part or if you have forgotten one or two points it's okay it's okay it's okay leave some space go to the next when we are writing the next question maybe we will remember those points and did you understand that uh, fourth one which i said if you have forgotten any points or if you don't get any one of the sub part leave some space and proceed to the next is that clear okay uh and uh, i think you guys pretty well know auditing la um, whenever you answer we have to answer descriptive with the keywords keywords means say for example essay what to say um essay 240 and what is essay 240 come on very famous essay 240 is and as 240 essay essay 240 is fraud so objective of essay 240 
auditor has to identify and assess risk of material misstatement due to fraud. Auditor shall obtain sufficient and appropriate evidence by performing procedure. Auditor shall respond to suspected or identified fraud. You know, there are key words. Risk due to fraud. Second, procedures obtain evidence. Third, respond. These keywords, when you write in the exam, you can highlight. With the same pen itself, with the same black pen itself, you can highlight. Now, there are three things which you can highlight. One is section number. Um, you're writing auditor's qualification as per section 141, subsection 1. If you are sure, highlight 141, subsection 1, section. Second thing which you can highlight is essay number, essay name. Okay, essay 500, audit evidence, highlight that. And keywords, if you are sure, you can highlight. See, highlighting means examiner's attention will go there. Maybe it can fetch you more marks. Are we clear with the fifth point on highlighting? All set? Okay. Now, I think all of you know you have to use the HB pencil for MCQ. HB and uh, black pen for the descriptive part. And uh, let me say one very important thing. And, uh, auditing. Um, I'm just taking few chapters. Huh? Company audit. Hmm? Our chapter number 10. Company audit. But if a descriptive question comes from company audit, how can you present in the exam? Assume, question is, uh, auditor takes fees in advance. But is it allowed or not allowed? Auditor is taking fees in advance. Is it allowed or not allowed? Tell me. The auditor can take fees in advance, but it should be on. You know that? Progressive basis. So three mark sets. How will you present for the exam? How will you present this in the exam? And for a company audit chapter, start with a um, heading. Put any heading. Qualification or disqualification of auditor. Okay. Then you write the provision. Uh, what is the provision applicable here? If it is not on progressive basis, it will be indebtedness. So as per section 141.3 D2, indebtedness exceeding 5 lakh will be disqualified. You have written the provision. Then you will write the facts. Facts means um, the given case you can summarize. Our auditor has collected the fees in advance. Conclusion. Therefore, Auditor is allowed to take the fees in advance provided it is on progressive basis. And you will highlight the word progressive basis and you will highlight section. The company audit le, descriptive part 4 marks, 3 marks as this format you can follow. Heading, uh, provision, fact, conclusion. Makle. Are we clear with the company audit presentation? Okay. Ada, just uh, store your doubts. I'll just finish off in um, 5 to 10 minutes maximum. Then I will come. Otherwise, I will just lose the flow. Okay. Just store your doubts. Second, if a question is asked from uh, chapter 13. Chapter 13 is... Um, audit of different entities. In different entities, you have cinema, um, hotel, um, hospital, education, charitable, NGO, all these. If a question is asked from, how will you vouch? How will you verify? How will you check the um, receipts from cinema? How will you check the receipts of patients? Will you write it in para or will you write it in points? Which is better? You know, from these parts, if something is asked, always better to write it in points. 
that you listen to what I say. Um, question is like this. What are the factors to be considered? Or what are the points to be considered? What are the matters to be borne in mind? Um, what are the steps? Sir? If these are the question, then better to write it in points. Okay. Are we clear with different entities? Company audit, I said format. Different entities have set the format. And when you start writing point number one, two, three, four, before that, give a small introduction. Um, as an auditor of cinema theater, following are the points to be borne in mind while conducting the audit. Then you start with one, two, three, four. In that also, you can put the keyword. Say, for example, um, in hotel audit, auditor has to check the kitchen order ticket with the receipts. So that kitchen order ticket, you can highlight keyword. But if company audit clear, um, different entities clear, can we proceed to the next chapter? Come on, guys, life is a race. Run, 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 run. Next, which chapter? Chapter number nine, um, which is items in SS. And in this chapter, what you have to concentrate is mainly the assertion. Two things, sir. One thing you have to concentrate is assertions. Second thing is how, say for example, contingent liability or um, current asset, how it will be disclosed as per Schedule 3. Now they are asking how an auditor will verify or how auditor will check. Again, you can answer in four points or five points. One, two, three, four. What if a general question comes? Say, for example, um, sale of investments. And I will give you a small checklist. It may not work in every question. Assume in the examination hall, a general question comes. How will you verify provision for income tax? How will you verify sale of investment? How will you verify um, uh, government grants? All these things. First, checklist tiller. Think whether there is some AS applicable. But a sale of investment, which AS is applicable? Makla, sale of investment. Auditor has to check which AS is applicable. Very good. So first checklist is you have to see whether any accounting standard is applicable. If it is provision for income tax, AS 22. If it is government uh, grant, it is AS 12. AS. Second, check whether any act is applicable. See, sale of investment there. There is a point in your company's act. Section 143, subsection 1. Uh -huh. Whether any investments have been sold at a value lower than purchase price. Okay. So, whether any act is applicable. Okay. Now, whether there is any supporting documents. Like sale of investment will be supported by broker's note, uh, sale value. So you will check the supporting documents like broker's note, share receipts, etc. Then, whether it is properly presented or disclosed. But a profit on sale of investment or loss on sale of investment should be credited in the p and account as per Schedule 3 requirements. Finally, authorization, whether sale of investment is authorized by competent authority. But can you acknowledge whether you understood the checklist? Assume in the examination hall, you are not getting any uh, points as such. Okay. And it is a very general question, not any direct question. So first, you will think, is there any AS? Okay. Second, is there any act which is applicable? Okay. What supporting documents auditor will verify? Okay. How it is presented and disclosed? Then you will see whether it is properly authorized. Can you acknowledge if you understood these three chapters? Company audit I said, different entities I said. Now, items in SS. All done. Now, coming to the main hero 
എടാ ഹീറോ പുത് ദി ബീജിയം കമോൺ ഹീറോ വിച്ച് ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് എടാ എസ് എ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് സീൻ ഇൻ ആർ മെറ്റീരിയൽ അറൗണ്ട് എയ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ടു ബി സ്പെസിഫിക് സെവൻ ആൻഡ് എ ഹാഫ് എയ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ആർ എസ് എ റിലേറ്റഡ് okay again i will give you a checklist for essay question first you have to think whether this question is related to essay or not say for example um, branch auditor okay head office auditor head office auditor wants to access the documents of branch auditor working papers of branch auditor makla is it essay or other than essay topic head office auditor wants to access the working papers of branch auditor essay ano alliyo is it essay or not answer is it is essay <coughs> so you thought whether it is essay or not yes 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 it is essay now second which essay you saw the question you identified it is related to essay which essay uh, is it 299 makla 299 is joint audit documentation working paper ah. now you identify which essay okay we'll write like that which essay ah yes 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 it is essay 230 you identified which essay third in essay 230 there are lot of headings what is audit documentation objectives sir factors sir types sir responsibility which heading this is mainly ownership or property of audit documentation do you remember that heading then you have to elaborate um, audit documentation is the property of the auditor he may at his discretion make available copies or extract to the client however should not given to third parties unless that you will elaborate finally conclusion so in the given case um, head office auditor cannot insist the branch auditor to give the working paper since working paper is branch auditor's property eda did you understand the checklist which we put for essay so if you get a question first thing is it essay question yeah 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 which essay ah oh, 230 in 230 which heading okay this heading elaborate conclude look like can i get a thumbs up if all clear till here okay ano okay ah okay thank you finally last one na but in essay question how will you present this is the checklist for you to think okay how will you present in the exam again and for every descriptive question for every descriptive question be it essay company audit uh, different entity whatever it is start with a heading so this also in the question which i have asked branch auditors documentation start with a heading documentation or working paper then give an intro para as per essay 230 audit documentation give an intro para then come directly to the question here you will elaborate then you will conclude intro you give one sentence or maximum two sentence about the relevant essay but when you elaborate in the second para be specific one of the mistake few students do is essay they will identify correctly but their explanation will be general i say always want specific answers from you with keywords so when you elaborate elaborate only what they have asked or what they want and finally conclude therefore he cannot insist branch auditors working papers are we clear with it so guys this is the presentation format for company audit for different entity for items in fs and um eight chapters which is essay now uh in company audit you are not getting the section number don't worry if you can't identify section number nothing is going to happen much so leave it don't worry about it essay number 
ബിഗിലെ മുഖ്യം വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ട്രൈ ടു റിമെമ്പർ എസ് എ നമ്പർ ഇൻ കേസ് ഇൻ കേസ് ഇൻ ദ എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഹാൾ വൺ നമ്പർ യു ഫോട്ട് ഡോൺ ബി ഡെസ്പ്രേറ്റ് ഓക്കെ യു മൈറ്റ് ബി ലൂസിങ് ഹാഫ് മാർക്ക് ഓർ വൺ മാർക്ക് ബട്ട് ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി മോർ ടെൻസ് ദി എൻറ്റയർ ക്വസ്റ്റൻ വിൽ ഗോ റോങ് സോ ഇൻ കേസ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ഏബിൾ ടു ഐഡൻറ്റിഫൈ സെക്ഷൻ നമ്പർ ഓർ എസ് എ നമ്പർ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓക്കെ you know just um, right as per the relevant section or as per the standards on auditing if you forget are we clear with it and our one last advice i have which is my personal advice for each one of you come on ask me what endanu nu choik you ask me what eda two things uh, before starting of the exam for 15 minutes things is here in your mind you have done well you have prepared well now in this 3 hours this should work very well for that your mind should be calm so at least 15 minutes if 30 minutes good at least 15 minutes from 130 145 is reading time at least 15 minutes before the exam close your book don't discuss what i've seen is personally also in my examination time one student will come and ask oh you what is caro applicability how much is the uh, paid up capital for the company we will lose the confidence so you have to attend the exam confidently you have to remember the points especially auditing is a theory subject for that you have to keep your mind cool for that 15 minutes before the exam just close the books try to recall yourself that's fine but avoid discussions or going through the book in the last time one thing second thing is after the examination 5 o'clock you have done well you have given your best now leave rest to god now don't you discuss with the uh, what to say don't uh, call your friends or don't call the faculties you can intimate the faculties but don't sit and discuss what will happen you are losing the time for preparation for the next exam do you understand that this is my personal advice before exam and after exam once you are finished forget about that paper it is done we have completed you can't revert it back so just forget it study for the next makle are we clear with all these points okay so before i come back to your doubts let me conclude by saying one more thing i know um okay um i know that um it's a time when you guys are little tensed how is your tension level it's like at 10 10 means most or zero no tension what is your tension level now come on heat level 10 what about others 8 8 and a half uh uh-huh. 6 8 extreme 9 10 5 9 yeah see tension to an extent is needed okay if we are tensed we will study in the prayer um we will plan and we will try to finish but your tension should be only somewhere around 5 now what if it exceeds this and you are extremely tensed half of this time your quality study time half of the time you guys will be thinking are you what if this chapter comes i don't know much about this chapter are you what if if i don't get through in the attempt are you what if if this happens half of your quality time will go thinking what if what if what if so guys i know it is very easy for me to say but still try to avoid tension to the maximum okay and try to study one main issue with students say for paper auditing is forgetting i always say forgetting is fine as long as you are able to recall see my personal experience i think i have shared before but still i'll say once more for me when i was writing the inter paper uh, tax paper was the paper where i was so worried because i used to forget the provision capital gain lot of provision pgbp lot of provision and i used to say to my sir that time in 2006 sir i can't uh, get through tax paper i think uh, because i'm forgetting everything 
He said, keep on reading, keep on revising, 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 irrespective whether you forget or you are able to recall. I didn't believe that, sir, at that time. But trust me, guys, tax paper, as he said, I was like blank when I got into the examination hall. I was like, I don't know anything. But once I got the paper, I was tense for my first few minutes and then tried to calm down. After that, I was able to recall. And I got most marks for that paper where I thought I will save. I got 78 in tax paper in inter. Once you have revised well, be assured in the examination hall, you will be able to recall 90 to 95 percent, assuming and provided you have revised. So don't worry about tension. Second thing, uh, don't compare. Uh, compare one student with another or last attempt with this attempt. Attempts are different. And finally, we all are warriors. And I usually say CA course is not tough course, but it is meant for tough people. We are tough. So prove that you can do it. And you write as if number 23 is your last attempt. Now, writing after writing the exam, now don't think, oh, you know, what if, if you don't pass? See, nothing is going to happen. No sky is going to fall on your head. There are solutions. But give your 200%. Give your best for the exam. Rest, God will see. And rest, we can take care later. And guys, did you see something on my back? Kandora, did you see this? Come on, guys, read this. No. Are you guys wish for CA? Yes, no. Para. Don't you wish to pass your inter? Don't you wish to be CA? Yes. We hope. Ada, without hope, you won't be here today now uh, listening to the session. You hope to be a CA? And of course, we dream of CA also. You have wish, you have hope, and you have dream. Well, at the same time, by all means, you have to do it. Do it means from your side, 200% you have to give. Not only 100, 200%. See, anyone can survive. But we all want to succeed in life. There are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts for success. It is only hard work, dedication, perseverance. Now, you have done your best. It's the last leg of the race. Keep on revising. Don't worry. And one more advice. Don't study any new topic at this time. Revise, revise, revise. For auditing especially, if possible, try to write one or two questions daily. So that's it, students. I wanted to wish each and every one of you in the area all the very best. In the, may God bless you. Irrespective of auditing paper marks, let in that violet screen, uh, when result comes in January, January 2024, when result comes, irrespective of auditing paper marks, let you get PASS. Eh, I hope you got it. Pass. And if possible, auditing paper exemption. That is secondary. But still, pass and see you all in final soon. Okay. So, I've exceeded my five minutes. So, can you uh, put your doubts one by one so that I can clarify? Uh, by the way, um, a mentoring session has entered. I don't know for how many of you it was effective um, in the area. How many of you find it useful? But uh, maximum, I've tried to keep it short and I've given the task, uh, model exam, etc., Few of you have done, others, if possible, whenever you get the time, kindly attend the model. And now, can you put your doubts one by one? Tirtha, you can leave the space, Tirtha, but it's not mandatory. Uh, that depends upon your handwriting, Guta. If your handwriting is big, better to leave space, otherwise, it's fine. One point is fire strategy. It's already there in the YouTube menu. Um, I've put this time for auditing 1.5 days or no, two days or no. I think this time for uh, exam you have uh, two days, no? Huh. So already it's there in the YouTube, how to study in 1.5 days. So 
again i will um and abria i will post that link in the uh, channel don't worry hmm? so two days the second you have so in two days you can you know two days you can do wonders guys effectively use the two days for auditing and uh, keep on studying practice questions if possible uh, revise some rtps and mtps or past exam question and if you don't even do that fine study 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 practice questions there is someone else asked me some doubt you i really forgot who was it minu and durta answered um there is someone else asked me in between are i don't know mm. okay 